Hi guys. How is everyone today? I hope well. Um, we're gonna go through our Baptiste flow. I know there's a couple people still trying to get in. So we'll just wait just one more minute if you don't mind. Just a few more, like 30 more seconds or so. Um, but you can get started in child's pose. Okay, so let's get started in child's pose. So toes are together, knees are far apart. You want them to be on the edges of your mat. Press back and just melt into your mat. And always bring the forehead side to side. And start to cultivate your breath, guys, your ujjayi breath. You're going to need that nice, powerful breath today, okay? Remember, the most important thing, though, is to breathe. Okay? Just breathe. Let's set our intention for the class. Need to relieve some stress. You just need a good workout. Just sweat it out a little bit. You set your intention. Try to remember that intention throughout class today. Okay. I'm just gonna take a few more breaths in child pose, please. Remember to press the palms into the mat and press back to get yourself a little deeper into those hips. Bring your forehead side to side. I'm gonna practice with you today. One more full deep breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Making the sound of the ocean constricting the whisper muscles in the back of the throat. And then come up into tabletop position, please. Let's have that nice neutral spine to begin with. Okay, and we're going to do a couple cat cows. So we're gonna take a deep breath in. And as we inhale, we're gonna bring the spine up, bring the belly button to the spine, tuck the chin. As we exhale, we look forward, press up. Inhale, belly button to spine, tuck the chin. Exhale, press up, look forward. Let's do a few more just at your own pace, just warming up the spine. Remember to inhale for cat. And exhale. One more. One more. Okay, gently up into your first downward facing dog. Spread those fingers wide, press them into the mat, pedal out the heels. Shake the head, yes, no. Use your breath. Come on to the toes. Come forward, whatever feels good for you. 
do that. And remember, down dog is a resting pose. Do these things whenever you want to. Remember to find that drishti, your spot to focus on, spot that isn't moving at the back of your mat for downward facing dog. Couple more breaths. Full deep breaths. Just warming up the body. Put a deep breath in and walk your hands to your feet. Stay low. You can either bring the fingertips into the mat or the palms into the mat. If that's too much, you can bring your hands to your shins. Stay low. Let that neck and head drop down, be heavy. For every forward fold, make sure the neck and head are heavy. It's releasing stress. Good. And inhale and walk it out to high plank. Good, down dog. Take some breaths here. Start to focus on that form a little bit more. Spread the fingers wide. Press the heels down. Press the toe mound into the mat. With each exhale, your chest gets a little closer to the thighs. Making that nice triangle shape with your body. And you're breathing. You found your drishti and focusing. Inhale, walk the hands, or excuse me, walk the feet to the hands. Stay low. Grab opposite elbow. You can stay here or you can sweep side to side if that feels good to you. Ragdoll, neck and head are heavy. You want to act like the top part of your body weight and pounds and pounds. Really weighing you down. Then take a deep breath in and slowly root down and rise up for extended mountain. Good, open up. If you want to go back a little bit, that's okay, but just a little bit. We're just starting. Good. Bring the palms together, interlace the fingers, keep the index fingers out, press back with those arms and stretch to the right. And back to center. Stretch the left. And back to center. Inhale. Yogi bow. Halfway lift. High plank. Step it back in high plank. Low plank. Upper facing dog. Downward facing dog. Three breaths, and then we're going to start our flow. We're going to pick up the pace a little bit. If we guide you through, though, we are going to hold on our upward facing dogs today. Inhale, that right leg comes forward for warrior one on the right. Step low, stay low. Open up, square off the hips, look forward, spread those fingers wide and drop down. Warrior two. Reverse, stay low with that front leg. High plank. Low plank. Upper facing dog. Downward facing dog. One more inhale, step it through for warrior one on the left. Open it up, square off the hips, look forward. Warrior two, 
reverse. Circle it around. High plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, hold here. Downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, right leg comes through. Open up, stay low. Warrior two. Reverse. Circle it around, chaturanga. And we're gonna go upward facing dog. Hold for three, two, one. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg comes through. Open it up. Two. Reverse. Circle it around. Upward facing dog. Hold here. Three, two, one. Come up. Inhale, right leg. Step it through. Stay low. Two. Reverse, staying low with that front leg. High plank, low plank, upward facing dog, hold. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg comes through. Open. Two. Reverse. Circle it around. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Good. On the toes, bend the knees, look forward and flip. Halfway lift or fold. Chair pose, drop it down and open up. Open it up. Breathe, inhale, yogi bow. Halfway lift, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, hold. Three, two, press it back. Good, inhale, right leg comes through. Stay low. Warrior two, reverse, circle. Upward facing dog, hold. Good, down facing dog. Left leg, open, warrior two, reverse, circle, upward facing dog, hold it, three, two, one, downward facing dog, inhale, right leg, sit it through, stay low, warrior two, reverse, Circle it around. Upward facing dog, hold. Good. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg. Stay low. Open it up, square up the hips. Press that back. Heel into the ground, one or two. Reverse. Circle. Good. Upward facing dog, hold it here. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg, step through. Open it up. Forward. Reverse. Circle it around. Upward facing dog. One, two, three. Good. Downward facing dog. Left leg. Stay low, open. Warrior two, balancing that apple on the front leg. Good, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Hold. Downward facing dog. One more inhale. Right leg up through. Stay low, open up. Warrior two. Reverse. Circle. Good. Upper facing dog, hold it here. Downward facing dog. 
Good. Little left leg comes up. Step it through. Warrior one. On the right. Irks it on the left. Excuse me. Same level. Warrior two. Reverse. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Hold it here. One, two. Yes. Downward facing dog. Come on to the toes. Bend the knees. Look forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Drop it down. Open it up. Each exhale, try to go a little lower. Pick up those toes off the ground. Make sure the knees are in alignment with each other. You're sitting in your chair that isn't there. Breathing with each exhale, we go down a little lower. We're challenging ourselves a little bit more. Go to your edge. Out of your comfort zone. Good. Inhale, yogi bow. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, hold, three count, one, two, three, down dog, take a moment here, take a moment, take a couple breaths, breathe, good, bring that leg straight up, now follow me, okay, and it's going to be right knee, Straight elbow, back and forth for one, two, three, four. Now come forward with the chest, tap it down in the middle, and then tap it back up. Come into three legged dog. See one legged dog. Come no, three legged. Yeah. <laughs> and bring it forward and tap. Bring it up. Bring it forward, tap, and bring it up. Bring it forward, tap, and then open up the hip. Roll the ankle with the toes. Put the gut. If you can, you can just stay there. Whatever works for you. If you're in flip dog, bring the palm of your hand to the center of the room, setting up for wheel. Press those hips up nice and high. Side plank on the right. Good, hold here. Try and find that drishti up top, opening up the heart. Good, now bring the top leg to the ground and you're gonna tap down for your planks, bring both hands down for two, three, four, five, and come into high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a couple, couple breaths. Good. Inhale, bring that back leg up. It's going to be the left knee to the left elbow for one, two, three, four. Forward the back. Now come forward with the chest. Tap down the knee. Bring it back. Tap down the knee. Bring it back. Knee. Back. Knee, bring it back, open it up, roll over the hip, roll the ankle with the toes, stay here, or flip your dog. Just up nice and high, whether you're just lifting that leg and opening up the hip, or you're in flip dog, challenge yourself. Good, side plank on the left. Hold it here. 
Find that wrist feet up top. Good, drop that foot down, drop that hand down. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Just a moment. Good, inhale. Bring that right leg through. Crescent lunge on the right. Step low, stay low. Here, okay? Open up. Find your bearings. And tap it down for one, two, Three, only if your knee allows, okay? Four, stay here. Good. Three, drop down that leg, come out of your comfort zone, you're balancing that apple. Hands come together. Twisting crescent lunge. Slowly roll up. Stay here or open up, it's up to you. Good, transition into warrior two, staying low with that front leg. Send it side angle. And I'm gonna have you drop down that right hand. You're gonna bring that left hand behind the head and open up. Open up. Open up that chest, guys. Breathe through it. You got it. Yes, chat around that. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a breath, a moment. The chest to the thighs. Put your annoying hair behind your ears. <laughs> Whatever you need to. And take a deep breath in. Left leg comes up, step it through. Crescent lunge on the left. Spread those fingers wide, drop down nice and low. It's four. Only if you can. Three, two, one. Stay here. Stay low. Open up. Challenge yourself, guys. Pretend I'm there. Smiling with you. Good. Hands spin to prayer pose. The same present lunch. Try to find your dishti up top and breathe. Use that elbow for leverage. That's that thigh. Really twist up, breathe. Use your breath. Stay low. Transition into warrior two. Staying low with that front leg, pressing that back heel into the ground. Stay low. Extended side angle. We start in the traditional. And then if we can, we're going to drop down that left arm. We're going to bring that right arm behind the head. Twist up. Really twist, guys. Breathe. Love this one because it opens you up so much. Just use that breath. Let go, what you need to let go of today. Whatever doesn't serve you, let it go. Good, high plank. Low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Good, breath. Inhale, come off the toes, bend the knees, lift forward. Float. Halfway lift. Stay here, come into chair pose, come into prayer pose, and it's our thunderbolt prayer twist. So we're here, okay, bringing that left elbow over our right thigh, looking up, twisting, opening up the heart, each breath, letting go. Try to keep those knees in alignment with each other, really twist, looking up, 
Pressing that booty down. Lift up those toes, no pressure on the knees. Watch and remember. Good. Back to center. Open up the chest. We're not here. We're here. Other side. Other side. Open it up. Breathe. to center. Hold it here. Drop it down. Challenge yourself. Good. Halfway lift. Send your stance just a little bit. Take your peace fingers. Grab your big toes. And pull yourself down. Forward fold. Remember the body weighs a thousand pounds. I want to micro bend the knees. You need more than that. Go deeper. Okay. Good, slide the palms of the hands underneath the soles of the feet for a gorilla. So I have to be honest and say that my Ujjayi breath is a little prohibited because of my allergies. It's that time for me. It's so hard to breathe out my nose sometimes. Mm. I take one more full deep breath, melting into this, and then slowly slide the palms of your hands out from underneath the soles of your feet. Stay here for a moment. Can you please try and maybe press the palms into the mat? You can watch the shins, whatever feels good to you. And then slowly root down and rise up for extended mountain. Open up. Good. Bring the palms of the hands together. Again, press those arms back. Interlace the fingers. Bring the fingers together. And move it across to the side. And back to the center. Left. Or whichever side you went to just center. And back to center. And this time let's go for a little bit more of a back bend. We're more warmed up now. It's okay. Just whatever feels good. And back to center. It's not snap. Good job, guys. Okay, your body should be nice and warmed up now. We're gonna go into some balancing. All right. So most important part, part of uh, balancing is your drishti. Finding that spot to look at that's not moving. Your focal point, your sweet spot, I call it. And grab some water. That's the most important part, okay? So find that. Find that spot. And we're gonna start with eagle on the right. So we're going to wrap the right arm around the left arm. We're going to extend the elbows out, their shoulder height, and then we're going to wrap our right leg around the left leg. Okay, just try and find stability and grounded balance here. Okay, don't try and go down until you feel strong, focused, and balanced. And then you can start to go down. But it's more about finding that grounding than going up. Okay? And now from here, if you're grounded, you can go into a resting ego so you can drop the elbows down nice and slow. And then slowly come back up. Unwrap into airplane. Don't think about it too much, just do it. Making that nice T shape with your body. You can come here. You have plenty of room, right? <laughs> or you can come back. It's up to you. Bring that leg up, chest comes down. Right now, from here, drop that right hand down. Twisting half moon. Twist. 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 
Good. Okay, ground down. Sudasana. Remember, guys, if you fall, that's okay. Just try again. We'll get there. If I fall, try not to laugh at me. Ground yourself. Sudasana. Good. Eagle on the left. Find that drishti. Okay, most important part, right? Wrap that left arm around the right arm. Wrap that left leg around the right leg. Stay here. Just your little whoopsie daisy, then just stay right here, okay? Otherwise, try and come down a little bit. Challenge yourself. Good. Send those elbows out. They're shoulder height, right? They're away from the chest. You're not close to the chest. Good. Bring those elbows down. Resting eagle. Oh, they come up. Just about here before you go into your airplane. Good, drop that left hand down. We're twisting half moon. Good, so that's enough. Ground yourself. Good job, guys. Drink of water. So it's Yogi's choice. You can either do your single leg balance here, in here, or out in here. Or you can do dancer. Okay, let's start on the right side though, but whatever chose. Whatever pose you choose, okay? Find that first jig. And focus. If you do dancer, you're gonna um, put your hand to the inside of the foot release. We're not doing well, so we're not forward here, we're up, okay? Press back with that foot to really open yourself up. Getting leg raised. Open yourself up, try and face the other way, okay? Your choice. So they come out of whatever pose you're in. And let's go to the left side. Ground down, Tadasana. Lift back to center. Good. Ground yourself. Now it's tree. Make sure and find your your drishti for this one, and I don't want you to leave the drishti through both sides. So we're going to go through both sides. Your gaze is going to stay steady and true, right? No matter what, no matter if you fall or anything. Be steady and true. Find that drishti. Bring the foot either to the calf or to the inner thigh. Do not rest it on the knee. Open it up. You can stay here and just focus on grounding down, growing nice, solid, strong roots. Your big, beautiful oak tree. Or you can open up. Thank you. 
Release the pose, but not the gaze. Bring that left foot either to the calf or the inner thigh. Open up that knee. And stay here. Hope you can open it up. It's up to you. Relax the pose. Good job, guys. Pro pose. That's the perfect time to practice, right? Not that anyone judges you anyway. But toes are together. Knees are far apart. Press the palms into the mat. And then just come up. Good. High plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Hold here for three, two. Good. Bring it back. Downward dog. Inhale. Bring that right leg through for warrior two on the right. Warrior two. Stay low. Good. Now drop that right hand down. Open up into triangle. Bring that left hand behind your head. Twist open. Really twist open. Good. Inhale. Bring your hands to your hips and exactly lift. Turn your feet to the side of the back. Interlace those fingers behind your back and come forward. Bring your forward fold. Let your hands be heavy, guys. Opening up the chest and the back. This is really hard for some people, and that shows how much stress you have. Just remember, practicing is perfect. Just keep practicing. Come back to the practice. Good. Inhale. Come on halfway. Bring your hands to your hips. And slowly roll all the way up. Good. Point your front toe towards the front of the mat. You can take a step up with the back foot. It's also going to be pointed forward. Make sure that you take a look back and make sure that it's pointed forward and not to the side. Okay? Good. Hands come into prayer pose for namaste front facing forward fold. And just drop it down. Drop the fingertips down. Put your nose to your knee. And melt into your pose. You need at least a micro bend, if not a deeper bend. Okay. I want you to get a nice hamstring stretch. Three. If you're really flexible, you're going to go past the knee, and that's okay. That's good. Keep the left hand on the ground, press the palm into the mat, open up for twisting triangle. Try and keep that back heel on the ground if you can. Okay? You don't want it to hurt, but just try. And breathe. Good. High plank. Low plank. Upper facing dog hold. This hair and downward facing dog. Breath. Inhale, left leg come through. Warrior two. Stay low. 
and drop that left hand down, straighten that front knee, and open up into triangle. Bring that right hand behind the head and really open it up. Turn the feet to the side of the mat, hand come to the hips, halfway lift. And from here, we just come all the way down. You can extend that stance a little bit, drop it down. And we're trying to get the top of the head to the mat. Maybe the elbows, maybe we're going for a tripod. From here, top right lift. Bring your hands to your hips and slowly roll up the rest of the way. Good. We're going to take a step. So we're going to point the toes towards the front of the mat. Take a step off of that back foot. Try and keep that heel planted into the ground. Now I'm staying front facing forward fold. Drop it in. Melt into it. Let that neck and head be heavy. Try to get that nose to your knee. And then take that right hand down and turn up to the triangle. Good. High plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Hold here. Downward facing dog. High plank. Drop the knees down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Two, one high plank, hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, now come all the way down to your mat, please. Right cheek to the mat. Also drink some water if you need. Take a moment. Okay. 
Okay, guys, come into your paper extension. You're gonna come into locus. So we're gonna interlace those fingers behind the back. And we're gonna press up in three, two, press up nice and high for a time. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, go ahead, drop it down. Okay, we're gonna go into floor row. So hopefully we're gonna grab the ankles. We're gonna keep the knees close together. We're gonna flex the feet and come up nice and high. If you need to grab your feet, that's fine. You're grabbing your feet, you're gonna point the toes, but let the legs do the work no matter what. So press back, press back with those legs. Open up the chest. Good for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Or you can reach out, wipe the legs back and forth. Upper facing dog. In three, two, press it nice and high for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come on to the knees. They are hip width apart, the toes are together, and we're setting up for camel. You're gonna take those hands, palms with hands, be on the lower back. And the fingertips are grazing the glutes. We're opening up nice and wide with the chest. You can stay here. Grab those heels. Good. Slowly come out of it. And set up for bridge wheel. Okay. Lie back. Good. Bring the heels close to that push. Press up, interlace the fingers behind your back, and come up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, touch the chin, or excuse me, slow down, you don't have to touch the chin for your bridge. <laughs> Good. Your choice, you'll be choice, remember, everyone can do wheel, I know you all hear me. Okay, here we go, inhale, exhale. Inhale, bridge your wheel, come on up for 10, 9, give me your best, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, tuck the chest, slowly come down, maybe to the chest, give a squeeze, good, inhale, exhale, inhale, bridge or wheel, come on up for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, tuck the chin, close, come down, chin knees to the chest, and squeeze. Inhale, exhale, inhale, brace our wheel, come on up for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two tuck the chin slowly, come down, your knees in the chest, give a squeeze. Inhale, exhale, inhale, bridge or wheel, come up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two tuck the chin slowly, come down, knees in the chest, give a squeeze. I'm sorry to say, but we do have abs too, okay? <laughs> All right. So bring those legs straight up. Drop that right leg down. Hip crunch up. Press the legs. Nice. Eight. Build knee coming up. Look up. 16, 15, 14, 
13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, release into the chest, give a squeeze. Legs go back up, drop our left foot down, and punch your foot. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one knee into the chest, give a squeeze. And thanks to Dr. Roberts, my app for sore. She's got a class on my guys. It's called um, Bucks and Guts. And it's on killing kids with camp. Great. All right, bring those legs straight up, please. Okay, heels come together. And it's 30, 60, 90. Press up. 30, 60, 90. Up. 30, 60, 90. Press up. 30, 60, 90. Up. 30, 60, 90, last one, we're gonna hover. 30, 60, hover for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, yes, bring the knees into the chest, give them a squeeze. Good, take the hands, bring them to the inside of the feet for a happy baby. Press the knees into the chest. Stay here, stand up. Whatever feels better to you, I want you to hold here for a moment. Good, take a deep breath in, bring the soles of the feet together, drop them down for Sikhabhata Kamasana. Just take a moment, please, take a breath. Good, now grab behind the knees. Four rock and rolls. One, two, massage that back. Three, on this last one, cross the legs and come up into downward facing dog. I don't care how you get into downward facing dog, I just want you to come into downward facing dog, please. Just a suggestion. Bring that right leg up. Knee to nose, bend the knees, square off the hip, flex the foot, and come in to half pigeon. We're gonna hold this for a little while. I love this one, it's a nice hip opener. If this is hard for you, it will show you the modification. You can lie back. Press that knee. Let's see if we can press like the shin into the knee. And press back just like this. Okay. Otherwise, just relax into that half pigeon piece. Melt into that pose. This is your yin. It's important that you hold it for a long time. Open up the hips.
Okay, guys, take a deep breath in and slowly come out of that, nice and slow. And then come into downward facing dog. Lift that left leg up, knee to nose, bend the knee, flex the foot, and come into half pigeon on the other side, please. Make sure that you can melt into this pose, guys, all right? And remember, with yin, there's no right or wrong. Whatever feels good to you, but please try and melt into this pose. Remember, we're no longer using our ujjayi breath. We're using a nice soft breath to melt into this. You guys slowly come out of that and come into a seated position. Nice and slow. Press the soles of the feet onto the mat. The, point, the fingertips are pointed towards the glutes. So we're coming into reverse table. So we're pressing up nice and high, lifting those hips up, letting the head hang down. Like we're trying to serve tea on our tummy. Just press up nice and high for 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, slowly come down. Extend the legs straight out, and we're going to go into fish. And the fingertips underneath the glutes. Bend the elbows and drop the head down. Slowly come out of that. You're going to bring the right knee in. You're going to press it over that left straight leg. Extend the right arm out. Try to follow that right middle finger. Pull on that left knee to give yourself a good glute stretch. Good. And then bring these into the chest. Give them a good squeeze. Extend the leg straight out. Bring that left knee over the right straight leg. Extend that left hand out. Follow that left middle finger for your drishti. And pull on that knee. Good. Bring your knees into the chest. Give them a squeeze. And then extend those legs straight out. Arms are facing up. And set up for Shavasana. Nice soft breath, melt into the mat. Let yourself be. Stay in this present moment. Don't think about what you have to do after this moment. Just stay here. 
focus on your breath. Let your thoughts come in, but the, let them flow away like clouds. Give yourself this much needed love and break. Feel your fingers and your toes. Bring your arms overhead for a full body stretch. Slowly roll over to the left side of your body. Stay here for a moment. And then come into a seated position with your eyes closed and your hands at your heart. I'm going to take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. This last one we're going to do an OM. Inhale. Oh. Hands come to your third eye. The light in me acknowledges and loves the light in you. Namaste. Have a lovely Thursday. I almost said Friday, but it's Thursday. I love you guys and I miss you. And I'll see you soon.